Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Albania or Iberia campaign in Europe Universe House 4. We're doing fine on money, fine on uh, manpower. I'm going to go ahead and swap over to non-mercs. See if we can save ourselves a little bit. Um, these are 10 merc infantry down here. They cost us, apparently, apparently each one of these costs us 0.41 ducats a month. So that's 4 ducats a month just in merc infantry. Whereas if it was regular infantry, it would be... 0.16, so 1.6 ducats. What's the break even on when we can get rid of them and kind of come out ahead? Don't know. Fabricating, you know, my eyes are bigger than my my stomach is bigger. My eyes are bigger than my stomach, is what my wife would say. Uh, we just got caught, like, instantly, so we'll just cancel it and start over again. It'll take four times as long. Unnecessary aggressive expansion, it's unfortunate, but... We train troops over here. Yes, we can. We just have too much manpower at this point. And the recovery rate is only going to get faster. 843 a month now. Once we finish uh, this, we'll be able to spend all this manpower. Unlike regular troops, mercenary cost does not affect maintenance. That's why there's two separate main things. Kind of a weird mechanic. How long does it take to train troops here? Seems like it's taken a long time. I'm guessing a long time due to what? Unrest? No, it's apparently looted. Uh, an alliance with the Netherlands. Netherlands attitude changes to friendly. Austria, they tell us of the Netherlands declaring independence. Netherlands have declared independence. They cite the war. So you're at war right now with him? Uh, let's see maybe how the French feel about it. Defender against the Netherlands in the Dutch War for Independence. Oh, God, man. The Ottomans are allied with the Netherlands? Out of nowhere, you secured an alliance with Lithuania, England, and the Ottomans. Uh, no, this is not our war. I'm not going to join a war against France. That's stupid. France is like my only ally. Ottomans broke their alliance with the Netherlands. That didn't take them long. So apparently they had an alliance, but then they decided not to join the war? Is that basically what I'm seeing? He's at war with all that. He's at war with just that. So, like, are you not going to call your allies in? Is that not how it works? That seems odd. Let's continue to just hope that our character doesn't die. We have no mercs there. Hmm. Of course you can have access, France. We're allies. That's a stupid question. At least this guy is the right religion. I mean, we could just vassalize him. And honestly, he could get more, more value out of the land than I am. And we have a relationship slot available. These things seem to make sense. Poor Netherlands, man. Like, what's he gonna do? Like, none of his allies got even called in. You want me to help him out? Yeah, sure. Okay. Before I do that, let's see how the whole Spain thing is. Never mind. Fine, I accept. But, let's still take a look and see how the Spain thing is. I didn't start a war, I joined a war.
It annoys me that I can't even size this war up while that thing is waiting. Okay, so you are fighting... Spain is helping against the Netherlands as well. It just seems like it's not nice. It just seems unfair. We've demerked. No coalition war. Still owe 576 ducats, but we're making 15 ducats a month now. We're slightly over the naval force limit, which is also a little bit expensive. I remember there was a time in our campaign where we were, uh, you know, actually like building buildings and stuff. You can move into Lucca. Two maneuver to my four maneuver. Sure, let's fight in Lucca. Hi, Portugal. Stop rolling well. Only I am allowed to roll, to roll well, okay? Thank you. 3,600 troops. It's a pretty good deal. Gallery joins the Republic. Rather than succumb to the oppressors. Cool. Well, what we're doing, doing what we can here. France is still not interested. Uh, well, that's right. They're allied to the current guy. We're going to have a rebellion down here. The Sunni zealots are going to fire. As are the Tunisian separatists. Hell, even the Mamlukian separatists are going to fire. So you're saying we're going to have some problems down here is what you're saying, huh? That's three heavies. I think our army could take them. How are we working on you? I'm not in an offensive war, so... We're currently gaining only two opinion per month. There's no reason to wait. Netherlands will cede land to Austria. Unsurprising. Okay, does that mean that France is willing to consider a war against Spain now? Nope, they are still in debt by a lot, and they still have a lot of war exhaustion. They still have war exhaustion from the war with the Ottomans. Mine didn't last long, but theirs apparently did. Oops, clicked right on top of it. A 423 air. Cool. No mercs, nearly max manpower. We're falling behind on military tech. I want, I really do want to finish this military idea group, but I think we might have to do the next, uh, the next tech level. Cost to boost stability is fairly low. I'm not willing to lose. Actually, yeah, I think admin points are worth more than diplo points right now. I'm doing an administrative idea group, I shouldn't, shouldn't waste admin. Portugal, you gonna come back? You want another piece? You want another piece of this? I don't think you need my help, Lithuania. You you, you keep on declaring wars that you, you don't need my help with at all. Although it looks like Bohemia is having some serious issues. I should just cancel this mission. We're not going to succeed in that anytime soon. Okay, how about uh, a royal marriage? How about, uh, what I give you some military access? How's that sound? Have you ever had that before? Has anyone ever done that for you? I doubt it. Ah, see? Oh, damn, Morocco was first. You, military access non-virgin. Unacceptable. I think we vassalize them and then we just feed the interior land to Tunis. Of Tunis to them. It's certainly better than taking wrong religion, wrong culture, land. I mean, he'll he'll convert, but he'll accept Berber. And it will not be distant overseas. You want to try landing here now?
Apparently my navy is going to kill his navy. Before we have to worry about the land battle. Alright. That seems fine too. Damaged ships can head to Rome. Pretty sure we have a, uh, a repair yard there. Yep. Let's bring you in. Oh, you're currently in a, an offensive war. You better not decide that you're too strong. Like, you, you definitely need to become my vassal, whether you win or not. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Gotta pay back both, the loan, both those loans real quick. France is just not getting getting better. Still having issues. Please don't tell me you're gonna end up disappearing as a country. Like, he's sieging your capital. I can't do anything to help you. Why don't you call me into the war? I will join your war. Wait, I have a truce against you. Never mind. Huh. You're just going to end up getting full annex because you have a core on that. And then my relationship is gone. At least I didn't spend any money on it, but... It's a fairly sizable Tunisian liberation revolt. They have no leader, though. But they have enough troops, apparently. Causing me some issues. Okay, what are we gonna do? A little bit more separatism there is not gonna be a big deal. end up with a full... No, we only end up with 20 troops. Let's get two more. Alright, we'll try again. Their army was just a little bit too large, apparently. The Ottomans? I thought they already did that. I thought they already... They, didn't they already kill the knights? I could have sworn they had. That is six heavies. Lithuania keeps on just calling me in, into these wars that I don't have any interest in, but I kind of, like, have to honor. It's annoying. We didn't lose any transports, which is actually fine. Saxony has been pieced out. Saxony has released Thuringia. Very well. The entirety of my navy. Probably take his navy. 60 on 20. There goes Dardan. Sad times. Hmm. 
I think we're only losing money because we're reinforcing right now. Uh, I need to get strong enough that I don't need forts. That's when you know you're doing well, is when you, when you don't even need forts. And you just completely roll without that. That's good. More conversions. We need a general. Thoroughly average. Mm. Nothing I can do there. We're already doing our mission. We're just kind of sitting around waiting to see what happens here. France is uh, still at peace. France may be getting to the point soon where they're ready for a war with, uh... Yeah, they would do a war against them right now. We could not... We could get... I mean, we still have to fight Austria. But we could knock Poland out of the war. But Mantua, France, and I beat Austria, Spain. How strong is Austria? They have the most troops of anyone in the entire world. And they're tech level ahead of me. And France. And we've got revolt, revolt issues on a different continent. So there's that. Just something to consider, right? Only one more event, and we'll be at 100% Patriarch Authority. So that will be swell. No wonder we have so much manpower. Brandenburg is knocked out. There goes our royal marriage with you. Apparently I'm gaining war exhaustion, probably due to some, some blockade somewhere. I need the money. I don't think he's going to try to fight my navy. He does have six heavies, but it's still 60 to... 60 on six. 10 to 1. It's a pretty good ratio. only we could get Austria to not do it. Or if we could get these guys to, to go away. Tell you what I could do is uh, wait for one more core. Or a couple more cores. Or extension comes down. War exhaustion came down. I could just raise autonomy in one province. Then we could pull the whole army home. If the whole army was home, I might be more willing to do the war. But if France is that far in debt, I don't think they're going to declare, declare the war on their own. So we can just wait. Already have a missionary. A little too diplomatic reputation guy. I don't think we need you right now. Let's go for the trade efficiency guy instead. Gotta be nice and, nice and cheap. Get that income really high. We have one more loan. 288. We're the manpower cap yet again. With eight spots available. I wish I just train him here. Wait a second. You actually did win your war? Wow. Excellent. Well, congratulations, you're not my vassal. 
I am very impressed. You Muslim tech. You've got lots of land, that's the wrong wrong religion. You've taken religious ideas, so you'll be our, our bastion, our, our thing to convert. Um, how much are you paying us all, all of a sudden? Point one one ducats? You know what, how would you like to be a march? Can't do it while we're at war. He's at 20 war exhaustion. You can piece him out anytime now. Just saying. It's an option. I can't believe he won. I, I should have watched that a little closer. Social mobility. Albini gets disloyal new men. For quite a while. All kinds of bad stuff happens. Or advisors are cheaper. And we lose a bunch of loyalty. The burgers gain influence. Putting them above the higher threshold. Potentially risk a disaster in favor of having cheaper advisors, but we're already paying for level 1 advisors. Or, we just have these guys lose loyalty, it takes them down to 60%. We lose a whole bunch of tradition, but we gain loyalty on the other two guys. I think I'd rather just risk the the disaster. Hold on, it said that they were going to gain influence, and they didn't. Oops. Okay, well we're going to risk the disaster anyway, right? Wait, the generous donation? Was that cheap? How can I do this if I don't have the money? Oh well. Well, very soon. We'll pull our army out and consider doing something. But for now, do we want to go for military tech? Infantry fire is pretty important. The Bastion's pretty important. Just for the very... Just the fact that we could make the uh, Ottoman forts obsolete to us would be very valuable. On the other hand, 50% force limit! I hear that's pretty good too! Alright, so this should be taken care of in five months. Four more months now. I mean, I'm looking at separatists. I could just raise autonomy on one province and be done with it. So let's just do that. In six months from now, we can pull the entire army off of Africa. And then consider going to war with somebody. This is a tough decision. If I take this, it makes the next tech level we take cheaper. Spain is on Tech 13, we're on Tech 13, so I don't feel like we need to have it. I don't think we need it to beat them. But Austria, I, I kind of do need it to beat, so I don't know. I'm going to go with, no, I'm going to go with the idea. Because it, it unlocks policies too, and I like the policies. We, we chose these idea groups partially because we wanted to take the policies. So, land force limit plus 10, goods produced modifier plus 20. I feel like this is just a good one to have in general. It's only Diplo points, so I don't care about those too much. Uh, our land force limit is down 92. We still have debt to pay off. Let's watch our production and trade income. Like, our income should have just gone up because of goods produced. Yeah, it should go up a bit. 23.66 ducats a month is pretty good. God, are you still piecing people out? Good lord. To end the war. People are leaving the coalition. That's cool. Let's grab the transports, start ferrying troops back. At the end of this month, I can pull this 20 stack home.
course, now Portugal is going to engage my navy because part of it's missing. It's really annoying. Constantly being at war with Portugal and their stupid heavies. And I've lost three, four... Lots of ships. Six light ships. Thank you, Portugal. You are an asshole. I swear, Lithuania, if you don't piece this guy out, I'm, you know, I'm done. I'm, I'm just, I'm done with Lithuania. They're complete idiots. They've been sitting on 20 war exhaustion for who knows how long. It's just stupid. Just peace out the war goal. Peace out the war leader. Like, that's the whole point of the war. To call me these frustrating wars that have nothing to do with anything I'm doing. Like, I'm, I'm way the hell down here. That looks weird. Apparently I can't quite get high enough. Truce with the Ottomans is now up. You know what? I think I'd rather have... I mean, you're enemies with France, but you'd still be willing to accept an alliance, which is weird. Um, but if I ally England and we lose the alliance with France, that would be bad. You've also not rivaled... You've rivaled Austria. I want you to fight Austria. I'm going to risk going for the alliance. We'll see what happens with France. If we lose the alliance with France, I'm going to be pretty upset. God damn it. I mean, it makes sense... It's just like, why does England want to try to do it? How about I unrival Lithuania? How would that sound? And then we can be friends again. You moron. Don't you dare break it again. Anything that makes the relationship permanent is risky. So now I've got England, England, France, who both hate Austria, mind you. No, that's not true. France doesn't hate Austria. England would not join unless I called them in. And again, you don't claim, you don't want any land from Austria, even though you've rivaled them. Even though you rivaled them. Makes sense, right? France would join the war. England doesn't want any land from Spain either. So we can't call them in. But, hey, you know, in a while, Poland would now defend them, Austria. We'll see. All right, I'm going to take a break here. We'll, we'll figure it out soon. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.